Hey guys and welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make this kind of fire text in uh, Photoshop. So let's go ahead and create a new document. Size whatever you want. And then let's immediately fill it with black color by going to edit, fill and contents use black click OK then click this button above our layer to lock uh, transparent pixels so we does, don't mess the background up so next let's create our text it can be any text you like uh, so I used here fire and so I can show you that you can use any text I'll be using text. Just center it out how you like. Then click uh, Control J to duplicate the layer, and then uh, merge one of the text layers with our background. First, you must rasterize them by go uh, by uh, right clicking on them, rasterize type then uh, again right click on them and click merge layers after that's done you're going to want to go to image image rotation uh, 90 degrees CW and now go to filter stylize wind select from left to right and click OK then click Control F a couple of more times until you get a result like this. Next, go uh, go again to Filter, go to Blur, Gosh, and Blur, and set the radius at three pixels. Click OK. Then we can go to Edit uh, to Image, uh, Image Rotation, and 90 degrees CCW to get it back to our normal position. Next part uh, we're gonna go to filter again, go to linkify tool which will open this new window. Let me make it bigger. Okay. And now grab your, uh, your forward uh, wrap tool which is the first one and set your bra brush to your liking, brush density to 10 or 11 and brush pe uh, pressure to 100 then make S shaped lines through it and it should desort this might take a bit practice it might not be perfect at first You're just gonna want to practice a bit. You can also change your brush sizes and tweak whatever you like. So now that's that, uh, when that's done, you can spend a lot more time doing this to make it more perfect. But for the sake of the video, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be doing that. So let's click OK, and this is what we got. Next, still staying at our uh, text layer with a black background, we're gonna go to Image Adjustments, uh, Hue and Saturation. And we're gonna first of all click colorize, put the hue to 40 and saturation to 100. Click OK. Then duplicate this layer and immediately go to uh, blending options and choose your overlay right here. Next of all, we're gonna go to image uh, adjustments. Again, huge saturation, but with our uh, sec uh, with our copy of our black te text layer, we're gonna go uh, not taking colorize this time. We're gonna set the saturation to minus twenty.
sorry, we're not going to set uh, saturation to minus 20, we're going to set the hue to minus 20, here the hue, and next we should get our f uh, text copy, the old text copy that we didn't use, and we're going to double click it to enter our blending options, and we're going to tick some options. We're going to tick a drop shadow, a gradient overlay, and an inner shadow. So let's first edit our uh, gradient overlay. Basically, this color can be any of any you like, but in this video, I used DEE344 here. Okay. And for the other color, I used A36A06, I mean 06. Here's a second for you to see it. Okay. So I mixed the colors, so I'm just going to click here a reverse, so they reverse. And next, I'm going to edit the inner shadow. Uh, first of all, let's put distance to 0, size to about 18 if you're in the sa uh, same file size. And now uh, uh, we're going to choose an F000 color, which is a red. And now we're going to lower the opacity and set the size to our liking. Next, let's edit our drop uh, drop shadow. Again, we're going to choose a red color. Opacity to 68, 65. Distance to 0 and size to 9. So this is our text layer, uh, the, the our text effect, fire text effect, so thanks for watching this tutorial, comment, like and subscribe, uh, I see you next time with a new tutorial.